You are failing us. But the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say, we will never forgive you. We will not let you get away with this. Right here, right now, is where we draw the line. The world is waking up. And change is coming, whether you like it or not. Thank you. Just another little show they use, Chicken Little, to make it seem like young people are doing good in the world again. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it's Hallmark bullcrap. I heard one time uh, Cooper say, the, here's the support, here's the, the theory to support the hole in the ozone layer. And he started saying, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And I can't find that clip, so I'm going to let him explain environmentalism uh, and all these so-called crises. The same thing is with anything. These people, this, these things are not true. They're, they're not happening. They cannot happen. And the whole, whole um, the whole, what this girl supposedly stands behind, I'm, I'm going to put the link the whole Cooper broadcast about the uh, hole in the ozone layer, the whole hoax of the whole thing. But um, I couldn't find the exact clip of him talking. Talking like Chicken Little reminded me of this girl, but I'm going to let him explain environmentalism and then I'll leave a the full broadcast to the Ozone Layer Hope so you guys can hear explained in uh, I think it's like two hours. It's, one's on global warming and uh, one's on the Ozone Layer. For instance, the burning of the rainforest in Brazil. I know people who are just up in arms. Stop this. We've got to stop the burning of the rainforest, which is exactly what the burning of the rainforest is designed to do, because Brazil is a sovereign nation, right? How can you tell a sovereign nation to stop burning its own forest? You can't. What they're asking for is control over a sovereign nation by a world governing body who can then send troops, a police force to make Brazil stop burning the rainforest, and that's why they started the burning of the rainforest in the first place. You see, they went down there and they built a road across the Amazon jungle that went nowhere. There was no reason for this road to be built. There was no place to go. It doesn't go from here to a city on the other side. It just goes across the jungle and ends. And they built this road on purpose because they knew that most of the people in Brazil are so dirt poor that they would see this road as the answer to their prayers. Free land, free timber, a way to support their family, a way to become wealthy, or at least more wealthy than they were, which was no wealthy. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. Millions of people headed out down this road and staked out some land and burned the forest and tried to grow crops. And they found that rainforest is no good for growing crops. It'll grow one crop, and then you've got to go burn more trees and plant another crop because the, the soil is poor. Um, and that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. And that's why the forest is being burned. And it was done intentionally to create the scream of stop burning the rainforest so that then they could offer the solution. The solution is a world governing body that can then order and enforce that order of Brazil to stop burning. So the, the, the green movement worldwide is now a just a manipulation. Yes. And change is coming, whether you like it or not. I'm a spokesperson for the United Nations. Thank you. <laughs>